Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Mercy Moments on a beautiful Monday morning. I am Shola Oshumakinde. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Lift up your hands wherever you are, whether you're on the road or you're at home or you're preparing to go out. Jesus Christ is Lord. We worship him, Lord. We give you praise. We adore you. We thank you, Father, for another beautiful Monday morning, for all your plans for us. Your thoughts towards us are good thoughts, not of evil. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you for the time we are spending with your word this morning. To you alone be all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, this wonderful Monday morning, I want to speak to us on something that is called speak out your confidence in God. Yeah, it's not enough to believe what God will do, but you must voice it out. You must voice it out. Let's read something from 1 Samuel. It's a very popular passage of the Bible. Chapter 17, verse 45. David's epic response to Goliath's threats. Now, verse 45. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and a spear and with a shield. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. David spoke out his faith, his confidence in God. Hallelujah. He did not just only think about it. As he stood before Goliath, he boldly declared that I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to overcome you. The Lord will deliver you into my hands. There is an aspect of the things of God that demands that we speak out our faith in God, our confidence in Him. Apostle Paul said, I know whom I have believed, and I am fully persuaded. He didn't keep quiet about it. He didn't keep quiet about it. He said, I know whom I have believed. I'm fully persuaded. I am I'm fully, I'm so sure of his ability to act on my behalf, of his power. It's because of what the Bible says. I want to read something to us in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. And this will be our memory verse. 2 Corinthians 4, 2 Corinthians 4, 13. Now the Bible says, we having the same spirit of faith. According to what is, as it's written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. The spirit of faith is so that makes you speak. He said, I believe I have spoken. We believe, therefore we speak. Your believing is not complete until you say it out. This morning, can you lift up your head wherever you are and make a bold declaration of what you are expecting God to do? Say it with confidence. God will take care of my health. God will take care of my projects. God will protect my family. God will protect my business. I will not fall for any temptation. God will lead me when I get to any crossroad. Voice out your faith, your confidence in God. Say it loud and clear. It is the spirit of faith that is in you. It demands that you, what you believe, you speak out. As you go out this beautiful Monday morning, or as you go about whatsoever you have to do, say it loud, say it out from your mouth what you believe that God will do. If there is a bill before you, say, I know whom I have believed. He will help me take care of it. Set out with joy today, with confidence, but say it out. 
It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a wonderful day. Hallelujah. I believe I will pass that exam. I believe that interview will be a glorious experience for me. I believe God has gone ahead of me. Say it. Say it out. Say with confidence. And then angels will carry it. And then it will be your experience. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. We bless your name. Say it again and again what you believe this morning. Say it. Affirm it boldly. I believe. This is going to be the greatest day of my life. I believe it's a blessed week. I believe there is no week. I've never had a week this beautiful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Remember, this is messy moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I will see you again next week, Monday, by the grace of God. Remember, God is good and His mercy endures forever. Your week is blessed. Your day is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, goodness and mercy will follow you today and all through this week. You will have amazing experiences on every side this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, the joy of the Lord will be your strength this week. It will be a week that will be filled with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, blessed be the name of the Lord. Give him praise and worship him. God bless you. We'll see you again next week. Hallelujah.